Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about setting up another T5 grow light. I've had this T5 grow light for a year now and I've been extremely impressed with it. It has all the different spectrums of the sunlight and it does an incredible job. I have had to bring in all my tropical plants for the winter months now. We're in the last week of October and believe it or not, it's snowing outside. I decided to take a clipping of my basil plant that has since then died. And my lemon tree, I started from seed, is doing well. My, or, uh, excuse me, my moringa plant's doing well. This moringa plant's doing well. My turmeric plant is doing absolutely amazing and it has grown significantly since I've bought it in under this grow light. I have another lemon tree that I started from seed. My ginger plant continues to do well after I bought it in. This moringa tree is literally taken off and has done well since it came in. I decided to start my rosemary plant which I actually cut back and I thought it was dead and then when I put it under the grow light as you can see it's starting to come up and then I also took a clipping from my knocked out rose which I basically just dipped it in honey to act as a grow hormone and put it in soil so I can get another rose bush next summer I have more plants I need to bring in so what I do is I leave it in the garage and do an insect inspe an inspection, put neem oil on the plant and the soil to ensure I'm not bringing insects in my house. However, because I have extended my tropical plants and trees from the summer months, I need a second grow light. So I've ordered this grow light and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and the, the, the link is in the description below on this particular product. So let me go ahead and start unboxing it. And you're deciding on a grow light, it's a personal preference. There's so many products out here in the market on different grow lights. I can only talk to you about my experience. And this grow light has served me very, very well. And I'm very, very happy with this product. My seeds germinated very well when I started germinating my seeds for all of my vegetables that I planted this summer. And be because I need additional grow light, I am happy with the product, so I decided to buy another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up.
The Jumpstart T5 Grow Light is now installed. We were having problems with this bulb back here. It was loose. However, we did get it to turn on. So now I have my second T5 Grow Light. It's by Jumpstart for those who are interested. And again, Grow Lights it, it, it's, it's, it depends on your preference, how you are um, um, uh, overwintering your plants or, or starting your seedlings from seeds. Whatever your system you want to set up, it has to work best for you. And this particular system has worked very well for me. I've been very impressed with, these, um, with this T5 Grow Light. Therefore, I decided to get a second one and I'm now going to be able to continue growing my Moringa plant. It's probably going to eventually have to be put on the floor if it continues to grow as well as it has been. And my ginger root plant. And then the other plants that I have in the garage, I will bring them in and put them here. Eventually, these plants are going to end up on growing from the floor. But this T5 Grow Light puts out enough light that it has a two feet circumference around this table. Therefore, I'm able to put these plants on the floor so when I do start, um, start my seedlings in March and April, I still have enough space. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out the Wemo Smart Plug and the Jumpstart T5 light system in the description below.